average 12706 versus 12708 the minimum number is the same that's because i deleted the data in the middle so we still have the same bottom point quartile one has as diff is different but not substantially different the median the middle of the data set is uh 124 19 versus 127 again different but not uh hugely different quartile three 136.8 134.89 pretty close still the maximum is the same because i deleted numbers in the middle therefore there's the same maximum but the standard deviation is now higher right so now i've got a 1301 versus 1166 which gives us an, an idea of the spread which we might not have gotten a difference in the spread between when i'm looking at just these numbers up top right these might not have given me a sense as much as as possibly a standard deviation of possibly you know more spread in the data and same with the variance right 135.97 versus 169.25 uh, another kind of measure of the spread and that should give us an indication that there's something possibly more going on than maybe I would have picked up with with just the first numbers up top with regard to the spread of the data and then if I looked at those with the with the sample these are just a comparison with the sample they also being higher if I used this the sample calculation instead of the uh, population and here's the actual histogram so you can see what happened here I deleted a lot of the data in the middle so notice if if I think about well what would have happened like with my numbers well you would think the average would still possibly be pretty close to what it was because now you've got these two sides that still kind of average out to something that's pretty close to the the mean and then notice the the minimum and the maximum are the same so minimum minimum max and max are the same because these outliers way to the end I didn't delete any of those so that kind of makes sense and then if you look at the quartiles they're pretty close and you would think maybe the quartiles would be substantially different if I did this in a small data set but because the data set was so large then you know I didn't I, I didn't really impact a whole lot of the quartiles if you just pick the number in the middle of the first second and third quartile because even though I deleted a whole lot of data in the middle we had a pretty significantly large data set so you still end up with pretty pretty close on the quartiles more than you might think and but the standard deviation kind of does give us an idea so so you might say well these all look similar but then the standard deviation does give us an idea that the, the spread looks you know significantly different as does uh the variance you're like okay and so and obviously that's represented here in the pictorial representation now just to wrap this up if I did the same kind of calculation over here I took my weights of my new data set where I deleted the numbers in the middle I subtracted out the the mean or middle point this is the 12706 now here's our differences and the differences if I added them all up would add up uh, to zero I don't have all of them here because it was a very long data set but it would still add up to zero with the new data set and then if I square all of them this is the squared amount if I added up all the squared amounts I would get to this and then I would take that and divide it by the count which now I only have 19999 uh, 19999 <laughs> instead of I think it was 25,000 data sets before right so we so we s removed a significant amount of the data which is going to be uh, a variance of 169.25 and square root of that would be the 1301 169.25 and 1301 is what we got here 1301 169.25